But boy, y'all, y'all boys primed right now. Y'all rolling. It, it got to be crazy to see Josh Allen up close. I mean, you didn't see him from afar, but. Like, some of the stuff that boy able to do, like, every great quarterback right now is different. You know, Lamar do it different mm-hmm. than Mahomes. Mahomes do it different than Josh. Josh do it different than Joe. But that boy, Josh Allen, be like, however I need to do it, that's how I'm yeah. doing it. Yeah, and it's, as, a, as a defensive player, it's refreshing. One thing that I was shocked about, because, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of football, and I know a little bit about, you know, all of my colleagues around the league. Um, When I got here, like, Josh, he doesn't take anything serious. He's kind of like – He's the Will Ferrell of quarterbacks. Like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter how big the situation is or how small it is. Like Josh is gonna be Josh and he's gonna have this lighthearted jokester mentality about everything. Like, and it's refreshing, man. It's refreshing to see our, our offensive coordinator like slam the the uh slam the headset on the table. Like you want guys to be, you want guys to to care. Like you want guys to feel the same way you feel about losses. And you know, having Josh, man, bro, he's He's the Will Ferrell quarterbacks. Like, bro, he he wants to go fast. Like, he is, bro. He can make any <laughs> he can make any throw on the field. And I think guys really like rally behind that. And Coach McDermott, you know, he's he's a tough defensive minded, you know, um, head coach. And I before I got, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know like how he was before I got here. But I'm, you know, I can I can assume that he was a little bit like tougher on all the guys. And Josh just <laughs> has this way of like loosening everybody up, man. He. He has this lighthearted, like Will Ferrell, like you know, vibe about him, man, and it just it it really trickles down on everybody, man. Our, our staff uh, at the Buffalo Bills, from the cafeteria ladies to the janitors to the athletic trainers, you know, everybody just kind of you know falls behind Josh, and they all have this lighthearted mentality around him, man. It's it's really enjoyable to go to work each and every day and, and prepare with those guys. I mean, it looks like it. y'all having a lot of fun out there, man, and that's what it's about, you know. Sometimes. Hey, sometimes you need some talent. You need yeah. to change your ways, and it's cool that McDermott was able to yeah, do man. it. Yeah, it's, man, it's, it's, cool it's cool to see, and it's, it's cool to witness, man. Like, And Coach McDermott, he's just about me being around him for the short period of time, man, he's always open for it. You know, and I've been around coaches that it's this way, and this is the way I – like Coach McDermott, he's so easy to evolve, and all he really cares about is winning and putting his players in situations where they could be successful. And as, long with, and, and as well as the coaches, too. He wants to put his coaches in situations – to be successful, man, and it's refreshing to be around Coach McDermott, Coach Washington, Coach Frazier, you know, um, Josh Allen, our defense, man. It's we got we got a great Bob here, man, and we just gotta keep stringing it together, man, and, and hopefully we can do some great things here. Y'all gonna do some great things. I mean, y'all doing great things, and I think Josh Allen is primed. I think he gonna have some accolades before it's all said yeah. and done. I I think they still got him on MVP watch this yeah. year for the stuff he's doing, but. I got a question for you. Like, where Odell at? When he coming? Because it looked like he going to come, but then it looked like he flirting with everybody right now. He, like, man, I mean, come you know, I, I saw the other day, like, uh, Odell, he was at the Giants uh, facility, right? Like, you know, it's, it's it's cool. Like, you know, that's what, at this point in your career, man, like, you you want to go back to, you know, New York. You, you want to have those ties with the Giants. Like, that's where it all started for him, like. That's right. always gonna be family. Like when you're in this position that Odell is in, you done won a Super Bowl, like you done made all the money that you get. That of course you always want to make some more money, but you know he's he's right, good. Right, he's right, good. Right, where, right. He's good where he's at. He's he wants to make some more, but I feel like at this moment in time, man, he just wants to really soak in all the love. You know Odell and like receivers like that. You know you want to feel loved, man. Like you don't want right. to you don't want to feel used up. Come over here and do this for me. Come over here and do that. Like. Sometimes you just want to step back and really just embrace the love, man. Me knowing Odell all this time, man, that's what I that's what I feel like it is. And I feel like when it when he gets to a point where he feels ready to go, you know, he'll sign with a team in in November, um, December. He'll you know uh, train that whole December with the team, getting ready with the playbook, and then playoffs. He'll just let it loose. All he needs is about two, three, you know, four games to really show people that he's still Odell. This offseason, he's gonna sign a, a $20, 25 million dollar. Maybe even thirty million dollar a year contract, you know, with some team. Yeah. But you know, me knowing him, and I'm sure, like, I can always be wrong. But you know, I feel like that's what he's doing. He's going to take in all the love. He's all about energy. He's all about positive vibes. He wants to stay in this in this great uh, this great place with his with his energy and stuff. November comes around, sign with a team, train that whole uh, December with a team, get ready to go. Maybe play the last game of the season, second to last game of the season, ride into the playoffs, kill it like he did with the Rams, and then. You know, sound with another team and, you know, keep it going. 
That would be cool. It'd be really cool to, for him to go back to New York. Yeah. I mean, the Giants kind of pulling some stuff together right now. They three and one, finding a way to win ball games. Well, let's like, be real, man. He's, man. he's coming to the Bills. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> he's coming to the Bills. Like it's already said and done. Like he's coming to the Bills. We down a couple of receivers, man. You got Josh Allen. You got Diggs. Like just think about him and Diggs on the same team. Like come on. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. Well, I can think about it now. I ain't got to cover him. Hey, it's <laughs> you know, stressful somebody and Diggs, else. And we got Gabe Davis. We got Isaiah McKenzie. Like, we got some some young guys that come in here and do their thing, too. You know, Dawson Knox. Um, There's been some trade talk about, you know, Saquon. And, you know, we got we, – uh, Come on got now. Devin come Singletary. on now. Our offensive line is one of the best offensive lines in the league. Like, defense is doing what we do, man. Like, come on. I, I think, as, you know, that's just how I like to think. And I'm optimistic. Like, when it's said and done, you know, we know where Odell going to be at, man. Okay, I, I'm 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 holding you to that. Hey, good talk about Jordan and uh and Micah, man. I know Micah Micah done for the year, but man, but them dudes never get enough love. Yeah, like don't. Jordan got four books on the year, and people acting like he just regular. Like that ain't regular. I don't, I don't understand what it is. Like you know, I, I play I play golf. That's that's my golf buddy Jordan Poirier. Like that's my golf buddy. Whenever I get ready to play golf, and whenever he gets ready to play golf, like that's my guy. No matter where we at, yeah. that's my guy. Right, and you can kind of. You get to know people on the golf course. And I, you know, when I'm watching Jordan on, on the golf course, any shot, like he's so locked in, whether it's a putt, whether it's a chip, whether it's off the fairway with one of the woods or driver, like these high pressure situation, like Jordan, he always comes through. And this is before like the peaks, this is before the season even started. Like this was during OTAs and all this stuff. And he's only been playing golf for two years. So to see him lock in, and then he transfers that 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 same energy over into the football field. Like, man, it's crazy. And you got to think, like, he's he's been an all pro for the for the last couple of years. He's, if not the best strong safety in the league, like he's number two. And if he's not number two, he's number three. And honestly, we all know how this stuff goes. The one, two, three, it rotates right. by each and every game. He's he's one of You're the right. elites. He's one of the elites. Micah's one of the elites. And I'm not, I don't, I really don't, I really don't understand why. Um why they don't get the love that they that they should, man. He's doing it in big time games. You know, he did it on Monday night football. Right. He did it on Sunday night football. To, it was a Thursday night game, but it was a Sunday night football broadcast to start the season off. He went crazy then. Um, he had two books versus Lamar Jackson in a, in a playoff type environment. Like, I'm not sure, man, but you know, you can't really hide talent, man. And as long as they keep doing the, the things that they're doing, man, he's gonna get all the love and respect that he deserves. It's going gonna, it's gonna to need to be that ring. The ring yeah. going to do it for him. I think the ring going to put everybody over the top. And you will be the first person to win a ring with three different teams. I, I, I know it ain't never on your mind. It ain't never. But you're a genius dude. So I know it's somewhere <laughs> in the back of your mind. It's, it's there. But six years? You going to go six? Man, I, you know, I, I'm going to take whatever God gives me, man. And it, it, it was nice. As you know, like, it's been nice before games. It's been nice before practice. High school, college, it's been nice where I sat on my knees and I prayed, like, God, please, like, let me do this. Like, let me get better. Let me get faster. Let me get stronger. Let me go out here and have a great game. Let me perform to the best of my ability. Please protect me from, you know, all hurt, harm, and danger. Let me get a, a new contract. Let me go out here and be, let me be the player that I know I can be to my teammates. Let me be a light. These are prayers that I said and I got down on my knees and I, and I prayed and I begged. Like, I'm not about to just give it up. I'm not about to give up, you know, the gift that he gave me. You know, I'm going to play as, as long as he wants me to. And I'm sure he'll, he'll send the message loud and clear, you know, to me whenever it's time. But, you know, I, I pray for this. This is all I ever wanted to do in my whole entire life. You know, this is when I was young and I was, I, I remember I, my, one of my earliest memories of football, like I, I heard my daddy screaming in the bedroom and I ran in there and I'm thinking like something's wrong. And I look up at the TV and it's a, it's a star on the TV. He's watching the Dallas Cowboys game. And I'm looking back and forth and I'm like, man, like, I want my I want to do something to make my dad scream like that. Like I that's where my love, right. that's where my love with football started. And then you get to this point, like you're 12 years in, and you know, they start talking about retirement, how long you want to do. Like, man, in my mind, I want to play forever. Like, I know that's not realistic, but that's that's what I go into. Like, this this is what I want to do forever. It's been nights where I begged and I pleaded with God. He 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 knows like, you know, how much I put into this game, how much I wanted this game, and how much I wanted it to work. So I'm not about to just give away his gift that he that he gave to me. I, I'm going to go as long as I possibly can. And, you know, I got kids now. I got, you know, a 13-month-old son. And, you know, I want him to be able to have, like, some type of – to be able to remember that, whether that's three, four, or whatever that may be. But that's all in God's hands. No question. And that's that's exactly what I wanted to do. I mean, I, I, I had my son at an age where I was like, man, I got to – he got to see me play. Like, it can't just be videos. It can't just be internet. 
it can't just be YouTube. It got you got to see me yeah. live. So yeah. and I, we I, had. I wanted to come in the locker room and see Uncle Josh and you know see Uncle Diggs and be around you know all of these guys and see you know Greg Rousseau and be around Micah and I, I want him to have those memories like physically, not just pictures and stuff. Right, right. I wanted I wanted to get my son to a Super Bowl. Yeah. I wanted him to like watch me play at a Super Bowl and we well, of course we took an L and that <laughs> but, <laughs> but goddamn, of course, but he got to see me playing one.